The threshold trigger special function is in the counter section. It works by counting the number of rising edges on the frequency input in a given period set by the gate time parameter. For our simulation, we'll emulate a simple conveyor with a proximity sensor giving a pulse for each revolution of the drive roller. The sensor is wired up to input 3 and we'll turn on Q1 once the input is up to speed. We need to be aware of some of the input-output constraints of the logo PLCs due to the design of the microcontrollers they use internally. The purely digital inputs can be used as high-speed inputs, but those that are configurable as analogues cannot. We can see from the logo markings that inputs 1, 2, 7 and 8 can be analogue, so that means that input 3, 4, 5 and 6 can be used for high-speed. A further constraint for high-speed counting applications is that in the program, the input must be connected directly to the high-speed input function block that uses it, and not via another function block such as logic gates, etc. Maximum frequency is typically 5 kHz for the high-speed inputs, but as low as 4 Hz for regular inputs, or for an input to the threshold trigger from another function block. Check the manual for the model you're using. We'll document as normal. Conveyor on and we'll set the threshold on for 10 and the off for 10. We have a time parameter for the gating period or the measuring period of one second. We'll run the simulation. For this simulation, I've configured input 3 as a frequency input, adjustable between 0 and 25 hertz. So we can now adjust with the slider, or we can adjust with the spinner buttons here. So we're up at 6 hertz, the output is still off, 7. 8, 9, 10, and once we get more than 10, the output will turn on. So note as the timer is running that we can see the where we are in relation to the gating period when it starts counting. This will become significant later on. We'll decrement the counter, so back down to 10, and the output turns off. We can modify the count and change the off to a number less than the on threshold. So now it should turn on at 10 and off at 7. So we're currently at 10. We'll drop down to 5 and increment up. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 turns on, back down, 10, 9, 8, 7, it turns off again. So notice there's a slight delay uh, between when I change the 7 and the next timing period starting. Notice also that there's no way to synchronize the timing of this with anything else that's going on in the PLC. So there are some limits to the, its usefulness. Hitting the plus button, we can see the current values in it. So the frequency input is reading 7 and the gate time is 1 second. We can also set the off threshold at a higher value than the on threshold. So here we've set 10 for on and 13 for off. We'll OK that. Just be careful with the simulator. Sometimes you need to toggle it off and back on again for the value to update here. We'll bump this up. So as we approach 10, we should see it change. Turns on. We keep going. 11, 12, at 13. It switches off, 14, it remains off, and counting back down again, 14, 13, 
and once we go below 13 it turns on again 11 10 it stays on and at 9 it turns off so the thresholds work a little differently depending whether you have the off threshold higher or lower than the on threshold we can have a look at how the gating time affects the setup so set the time parameter to two seconds make the maths easy and now we can see that with a nine hertz input signal we're getting 18 counts per two seconds on that so that affects the way the system is going to operate so we have our threshold still at 10 so if we drop down to five there we have the output on we drop to four the output turns off go back to five but notice now that we're getting a longer response time on this it will take two seconds before it realizes that the count has changed depending on when the counter is resetting compared with the frequency input i've set up a second threshold trigger here running from a low speed input if you remember input one is one of the analog inputs so it doesn't support high frequency reading we have the threshold set for three pulses and we have a gate time of five seconds so if we get three pulses in the five seconds gate time the output should turn on so we'll give a series of pulses till we get the output to turn on watch the fa value below and we see we have a frequency of six now we've no more pulses and five seconds later it sets back to zero so you can see we could for example have a photo eye counting boxes on a conveyor and it would turn on if we had more than three boxes passed through in the five seconds but it, once again there's no way to synchronize this with for example the first box so it's of limited use as i edited the video i realized i had declared that it was not possible to synchronize the gate timer with anything else happening in the plc however i realized then that we have an analog input to the gate timer setting so if there's a way of modifying that from another control we could set it to a very short gate time to re-trigger continuously and effectively hold it at, at zero and then set it back to the gate time we want when triggered by another event on the plc so to do that we can use an analog multiplexer so the analog multiplexer allows us to select one of four values depending on the pattern of selector one and two on the input so i've set value one to five thousand milliseconds value two to one millisecond and notice that to switch between the two both s1 and s2 are off in this case and s2 is on in this case so we'll okay that and we can then take that analog value to the gate timer now we just need to toggle s2 to switch the two values so here i've configured input 2 to run s2 and I've just put a timer on here so we can watch where we are in the general scheme of things here. Run the simulation and you can see now that input 2 is off so selector 2 is off and we're feeding out the P1 value into the gate timer. When we select input 2 you can see that parameter 2 has been output to the gate timer effectively holding it off and then release input 2 and we're back to 5,000 milliseconds and that timer will start. 